lineup, said LAX. They're charged with pocketing cash in exchange for letting drugs pass through security checkpoints. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo is live at LAX with how the federal government found out about it. Christy. Paul, drug agents say they used Facebook and other social media to recruit a source and infiltrate the ring. And they say what they learned helped them intercept the drugs before any of it made it onto planes here at LAX. A scandal at LAX is making national headlines tonight. Seven people indicted, including two current TSA agents, accused of taking and paying bribes to get drug-filled baggage through the airport security checkpoints. This DEA photo shows one of the suspects under arrest, still wearing her TSA uniform. The government takes this conduct very seriously. In this case, it was narcotics. We want to make sure that in the next case, it's not some other kind of contraband. Federal agents say a confidential source tipped them off about two current and two former TSA agents. They were under arrest along with one of three alleged couriers. But Terry Cunningham and another man are still on the run. The DEA says all had ties to a gang. No, we're not sure if they were truly bona fide gang members. But the associations with that association. Prosecutors describe it as an elaborate setup. There were five incidents involving marijuana, cocaine, and meth spanning six months. A courier and agent would meet the night before, so they'd recognize each other at the airport. Then the next day... And the courier and the screener would communicate by a text message or cell phone so that the courier would know exactly which lane to go through at exactly what time. The screener, who manned the x-ray, would then look the other way and in exchange get up to $2,400. Counterterrorism expert Philip Little isn't surprised. The real question is, how many do they not know about? He calls the scandal a major breakdown in security and says until the TSA starts offering more pay and more training, we can never be sure of what's in the luggage that's boarding the planes with us. We've known for years that uh, terrorist groups have tested systems at, uh, at the airports in this country to see if they can use these same channels that the drug smugglers use. Drug agents wouldn't say where the drugs came from or where they were headed. In a statement tonight, the TSA tells us it is cooperating fully with the investigation and adds the agents are no longer performing screening duties for the TSA. Live at LAX, Chrissy Fajardo, CBS 2 News.